Today I'm going to answer a question by JVSquid15 asking, what is my class schedule? Um, they mention that Michaela, who's another big YouTuber, uh, if you don't know her, uh, her classes were half days. Now, um, I'm not sure what school she went to. She might have gone to a language school. Language schools and universities are different. Um, language schools uh, really are only to pass things like the JLPT tests and just to get better at Japanese. Meanwhile, um, universities are like the same as a four-year university in most countries where you um, go take classes to earn credits to get a degree. I am going to a university, so um, mine isn't as, as set a schedule. It's more like a university class um, schedule in the United States where you pick classes and they'll be at certain times, so it's not always you'll have the same classes each day or them being even at the same times. So most universities in Japan that I know of use this period system, which is um, instead of going by hour for when the classes run, they use periods kind of like in high school. So um, these periods are a half, uh, <laughs> a half an hour, I wish. Um, <laughs> they're an hour and a half long and you have a 50 minute lunch. And so the first period starts at 9 o'clock. Next period, uh, the second period starts at 10.40. You have lunch at 12.10. Third period starts at 1, and so on and so forth. You have a 10 minute passing period in between these periods to get to your other classes, um, which most of the language classes are all in the same building, which is nice. So Mondays, I have three classes, um, which are all Japanese language. So it's comprehensive Japanese, kanji, and listening and speaking. So those are three different classes. Um, and then the rest of the week, I only have like one or two classes each day. And then Friday, I have um, a compre uh, comprehensive Japanese is every single day for an hour and a half. Um, listening and speaking is twice a week for an hour and a half. And kanji is once a week for an hour and a half. I'm also taking uh, wagashi, which is Japanese confectionery. That is not actually held on campus. It is in like a small wagashi shop um, somewhere in Kyoto. I just follow everyone to class. I don't have my bearings on where everything is yet. Um, and I'm also taking international peace studies. Now international peace studies is the only class I'm taking that is in English. Um, the rest are all in Japanese, which was something that was very hard for me to get used to for taking Japanese in Japanese. Because um, when you don't know the um, meaning of something, usually when you'd ask a question, the teacher would give you the English meaning. This, they have to explain it in Japanese. And, you, and a, since a lot of my teachers don't actually speak English, you have to ask in Japanese too, which has been really difficult for me because I'm just like, I'm not used to this. I'm so used to just asking in English, um, but I, I'm getting better. But back to the topic on hand. So um, since I'm only taking five classes, which is 12 credit hours, um, my schedule's fairly lax compared to a lot of the other students who are taking like 16 credits, which is just crazy. Um, but it's it really depends on what classes you take to answer your question. Oshisha and Ritsumeikan both have this period system. So I'm assuming most colleges and universities have it in Japan. If not, please correct me. Um, I, I don't know other schools. So yeah, that is my class. what my class schedule looks like. Um, it's very, it varies every single day, which is really annoying because like my comprehensive Japanese class, which is every day. Oops. Something just fell off my desk. It's kind of creepy. Um, so my um, my comprehensive class, which is every day, isn't always at the same time. Like one day it'll be on in second period, another day it'll be third period, another day it'll actually it's always second or third period. 
no, 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 Monday is fourth period. But yeah, um, and they're, it's like never in the same room. So it's a lot to remember where to go instead of like when I, uh, my university in America where I get my class, okay, it's always at this time and it's always in this room. Much easier to remember instead of like having to hold our schedules and keep, and keep looking at them every day, which is really annoying. But yeah, to answer your question, it, my schedule is really weird. <laughs> Um, but it's a normal university schedule. Um, I really wish it was more like a half day thing, like Michaela, it'd be nice if it was very condensed. Um, I'd probably have more time to do stuff, but um, the universities are a lot more difficult than language schools. I mean, you can take easier Japanese classes at a university than in a language school. But um, the workload, I feel like, is a lot harder because you're actually earning it for college credit. And I'm not only taking Japanese, I'm also taking peace studies and wagashi. And trying to keep up on my Chinese and Korean and German, which living in the international dorm has helped. I hear a lot of Chinese, there's a lot of Chinese exchange students here, and quite a bit of Germans. I was surprised about that. There's only one Korean, but there's a lot of Germans. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I will try and make a video about it if I can. Um, I had another request to do a video on the price of food. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film in the actual supermarket because most of them have a no filming sign. Um, Except for this one, but it's mostly produce and frozen food. There's not like it's not like a real grocery store um, So I'm not sure if I can do that once I find a Once I find a supermarket that allows me to film I will do it and I will also ask my local supermarket if it would be okay if I made a video just for educational purposes, but I really doubt they'll let me but so, um, talk to you later. Bye.